I tricked ya. No, I do have audio. I'm just messing with you. Anyways, how's she going today, tubes? So just a little quickie here. Working in my shop, trying to clean house or clean shop, I guess you would say. And uh, so far, so good. So ish good. Uh, but anyways, uh, here I am working. I'll show you then a little bit of my progress here in a second, which isn't really that much, <laughs> really. I didn't realize how much junk I got in here, but anyways, um, I'm working away here, and then I get a on like a door. I'm like, hmm, who's that? <laughs> so I went open the door, and it was the freaking FedEx guy. I don't know why or how he knew I was in here, but FedEx, FedEx, FedEx Express. And uh, he's like, I got a, a package for Bill's T-Max Rocks. I'm like, um, I guess that's me. <laughs> this guy. So, uh, sign for it, bring it in. And I'm like, uh, where did I see that? Oh, the paperwork. It had uh, letterhead from GoPro. I'm like, that's weird. You know, like. GoPro stuff. Letterhead from GoPro in the uh, packagey thing. So I'm like, what the heck? I, I I didn't order anything from GoPro, but I did order some more of those little um, things for the microphone where you can change it from the side of the camera, plug Dewey to like the um, microphone jack Dewey, so I can have a Dewey and talk, um, so it sounds better. I ordered some of them, but I'm like, no, oh, those didn't come from GoPro. Those come from Amazon. So what the heck's going on here? So I'm looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. Somebody by the name of Brian Key, thanks, buddy, sent me a little packagey gift thing from GoPro. I'm like, holy. Now I understand why he sent it, because he wants, I think, some longer GoPro videos. Because the battery's a little bit, you know, it's only a tiny little battery too, right? So really it's not bad for what what you get you know um i think i'm pulling about 35 almost 40 minutes of that little wee battery so that's not too bad um but anyways he sent me through gopro a little package here holy freaking crap he did not have to do that thanks brian i, I presume it's from brian because it says bill to brian key um live livonia mi united states so, holy crap. But anyways, i got to flip my camera dewey here, and I'll show you what was in this package. Awesome. He sent me a battery backpack and like a, what do they call it? A GoPro branded gift bag. That is freaking pretty cool. This is the opener end here. Open end. And I guess you could put all your accessories and stuff. It's got some, you know, carrying Deweys for it. It's kind of sweet. That is awesome. And a battery backup. Now, This is pretty sweet, and actually, I never even really thought of getting one of these. Oh, come on. I'm just using my iPhone right now, and I can't uh, kind of use my other hand because it's holding my camera up. So. But anyways, there there it is. So I guess that uh, clips onto the... Oh, yeah, it shows you sort of here. Clips onto the back, but then there should be another set of... Oh, hang on a sec here. I can't get this with one hand, I don't think. Uh, sorry for wrecking the package, but one-handed is a little difficult. I guess I didn't really wreck the package too bad. 
one handed and left handed. <laughs> really bad combinations. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna have to try to get this out here. Okay, got her open. I would never have got that with one hand because they have these little um, tape deweys holding it to the actual box part two, so that wouldn't work. But anyhow, we got her out here. This is awesome. Thanks, buddy. Sweet. That is freaking sweet. And I guess that. Oh, there is a charger there. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So you charge her off of that, and then when you want, you know, I guess you put both of them on, normal battery and that, and then you get like probably twice or maybe even longer. I don't know how long, much longer that would give you. That's freaking awesome. So the little, quite a manual, but there's probably 15 different languages in there. Make sure your products are updated with the latest software. For more information, visit gopro.com slash updates. Oh, sorry, there you go. So yeah, inside here you'll have um, one waterproof standard back pack door. So that's the solid guy. And this one is the uh, the non-solid one, which lets a bit of sound and stuff in. Oh, they even give you another, another Dewey. Sweet. So that's the skeleton back door. It's got the holes in it so you can let the sound in. And oh, it even comes with a charger cable. Sweet. I think I got a few of them. And I'm not too sure what this is. A little container, I guess, for it. Wow. That is awesome. Let's open this up. Oh, there you go. So that should go right in there. Sweet. I'm just going to put it all back in there now. In this solid door. Skeleton door, cord. How come that's not going back in there? <laughs> Little guy. And all your reading materials, except I'm going to read it, so I'm going to leave it right now. That is freaking awesome. Thanks, buddy. That'll definitely increase our uh, uh, charging, not charging, uh, recording times for probably twice as much, if not even a little more. That's going to be awesome. Thanking you so incredibly much. So anyways, uh, just show you my progress so far. I've sort of mostly got this corner mostly kind of mostly cleaned out. That's where I was laying up all my uh, still attachments and stuff. I thought, well, you know what? I wanted to get rid of this cabinet thing here. I thought, you know, that'll be a good little housing for all my uh, my still stuff. I thought, why not? So most of it's all in there. Brushes are up top. I was going to get rid of this cabinet. But, uh, no. Now I got a spot for all this crap laying up here, but I need to first, I am going to chop out this old bench exactly to where yet, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually being supported here by this thing. Or what is being supported by what. Now I could get rid of that microwave because I don't use it anymore, but it does make kind of a good um, visual block, if you know what I mean. Oh, there we go. Um, but I do want to get rid of pretty much, I was thinking right to back, actually about back to here. There's a support there underneath. Maybe get rid of this whole bench here and then my uh, metal stuff. I'm going to uh, all this crap in the corner, which I some of it I don't really need, but some of it I do sort of need. I was going to use. Um, oh crap, that's not going to work. Because I got this freaking stupid cabinet tree up here. I was going to lay it up in the corner and this block area here, but that's not going to maybe work. Well, I can work on that later, I figure it out, but yeah, this bench is definitely not in good shape. <laughs> She's hurting pretty good. So, uh, but anyways, so slowly working on her. You know, I just gotta clean the floor, but I think I'll tear out this bench crap here first. Now, if I have to, if I find that this is needing support here, um, which I don't know really, maybe maybe it is supporting it a little bit. I don't, I don't really know. Oh yeah, there's, it's definitely pushing on her there. So wow, this whole thing's not in good shape. Holy cow, where do you start? Where do you end? I kind of figured that this might have been attached to the um, 
to the wall in here or something. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Only my old junk in here. I don't need either. Not much holding much there. <laughs> I don't know. She's a little. Oh, wow. Well, that's not much good either, is it? All for cornflakes. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to eliminate all that too. Get rid of all these cabinets and everything. I don't know. I don't know. That might be a good thing too to maybe get rid of all that too. I don't really know. I don't know what to say on that, but it's not like I really got much up there that I really need to be there. So, um, how the heck do they attach these? So, not by much apparently. That is pretty much resting on that piece of wood there. Wow, that's pretty freaking scary. That is freaking scary. Well, anyways, just a you know quickie little update. I guess if I want to get rid of this bench stuff, I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Aren't being hung by what? I don't know, but I think the whole thing is being hung by that nail up there. There's a nail up over there. And that's about it. So that's uh, pretty friggin' scary. <laughs> it should be a maybe a two by four nailed right to the wall there, and then it would rest on that kind of thing. I don't, I don't know, but I'll have to look through these and, well, that one's not going to take much to look through. See what I uh, have in here that doesn't really need to be in here. I'll maybe just eliminate all this, get it right back to the, to the walls. So, I know uh, the vault guys used to give me a bottle of whiskey every year that I don't drink, so they're still, let's probably go out, they're still, that was a nice set. I don't drink, so there's still two, two bottles there, so I don't know. I'm going to go through stuff here, I guess, now and uh, eliminate some more and uh, see what else I don't need. This whole thing can probably just come down and get burned up or thrown in the binster. I got the binster here nearly full again, except I haven't crushed her down or anything, but she's getting there. But holy crap, eh? But anyways, uh, yeah. Lots of fun, so still working hard and uh, on it, and trying to find homes for stuff that I kind of do need, and getting rid of other stuff, other stuffs I don't need. And I got my table all cleaned under here too. It's uh, been all taken off, and uh, I flipped the board around, but I'll show you under here. It's all nice and clean all under there, all the way up all cleaned with WD-40 and everything so pretty friggin awesome but anyways thanks Brian for all that stuff holy cow that's awesome I'm gonna have to get her charged up uh, I want to do one little thing just before we uh, let you go for today uh, down at the river I was actually out this morning just to you know try it out before I filmed it and made myself look dumb if it didn't work but I was out with the machine and the thumb, you can see the, the water stuff. Actually, there's quite a bit of water that's dripped off of this thing. Still dripping, wow. Dripping all the way out the door, I guess. That's good, it's running out the door. But yes, I was down at the river, no, not the beaver dam in front of our house that uh, we made the trail to the other day. This is uh, the one down in front of the garage, we'll say here. But uh, I just wanna walk down and uh, kinda show you what's going on down there now but uh, worked absolutely phenomenal this thing now it doesn't lift a whole pile but it lifts a great big we'll say you know squished together in a bucket it's it's a lot it was more than I thought it would do but it also was smaller machine has its limits right like with the big big tractor I probably could have done it in maybe three big scoops and it would have been clear but this is more like you know 20 but, you know, just don't take such a big, you know, heaping mound of stuff. And then uh, she worked out pretty good. So, but anyways, let's uh, take a little buzz, buzz down to the river here. Oh, one thing I did find with this, um, not exactly super crazy the way they've hooked up the cylinders. The cylinder for the thumb. I kind of wish he would have put, well, I guess he would have to switch the, the lines on the control thing there now but I don't exactly like 
how they, what the crap is that big one for? I don't exactly like how the pedal worked. It seemed like it was backwards to me. Now if I can remember right, this, this was open. Oh, I can't remember now. Maybe that was open and that was closed. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like it. And uh, I might switch it or maybe just try to get used to it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's, uh, let's pop down the river here and see, uh, see what's going on. Okay, I pretty much got them stripped. This uh, top shelf is actually screwed there, so it's actually quite strong. I could probably hang off of that if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. So what I'm going to do is I've got these sort of busted here. Oh, look at the whole thing move, eh? Ooh. And anyways, I got these busted off. It's still holding on by, by that one and, and that one. What I'm going to do is uh, cut it. I'm gonna pry this crap off of here and cut it. Whoops, sorry, cut it through there. This would probably pull right off. And then cut it through here. Leave all this attached. I'm gonna make a new support thing for now to support, because this is a lot stronger than this crap. I think, maybe it's not, I don't know. I think the whole thing needs to come down, unfortunately. Maybe just get a couple of nice cabinets or something for stuff and then get rid of all this. It's very, very scary. <laughs> and it's only supported by very, very minimal, minimal stuff. One support maybe there, one there, one there, one in the end, one there, one in the back there, but still, wow. But I'm going to start with that, cut this, and then I'm going to cut the bench here as well, right through. That was a plasma cutter cut. No, I'm going to have to use chainsaw or something. Cut through her, cut through her, and uh, this is probably going to collapse, so I'm going to, like I say, put another piece, almost big enough, <laughs> under there just to support her, but I don't know, I'm kind of thinking she's all going to have to come down, and uh, I'm going to have to put all my plumbing stuff somewhere else for now. It's pretty handy having it there, but it's just not supported by anything. It's really scary, so probably to get better to get some some floor, floor cabinets or something, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to start by cutting this crap off. This drawer is now empty. There's a bit of John Deere stuff here that I do need to keep. Some spindles and stuff. Some spindle nuts, those are about 18 bucks a piece for those stupid things. So, got some antifreeze i got to figure out something to do with. My gloves, wicked awesome thick gloves are awesome. Um, that can go in the back shop. Now what else? I don't know. But anyway, so I can't fire the salt right now. I got a guy over here visiting, so I'll, uh, I'll maybe run down the river and show you that while I'm waiting for him to finish up. Okay, so if you remember, we actually had water all the way up to these roots here, and it was going all down around where it shouldn't be. So yeah, I come in here this morning and got them drained down quite a bit. This is probably going to collapse on me. Yep. <laughs> oh. uh, but anyways, there is the river down where she should be. She's definitely a lot lower. The water was all the way up. You can see the puddle still here. It was all the way up, kind of into here. This was the shore one time so there was one little dip here I didn't like coming through so much so I dug a couple of buckets and then smoothed it out a little bit and drove over that it worked pretty good um, basically I had to clear a path kind of like I did the other day a little bit of chainsaw on and then I just kind of come down and started ripping and uh, I know it's not uh, a very good shot for is but this all this crap here some of there was a pile of dirt here because I actually come in and parked here with the backhoe about three or four years ago and ripped all this out but I piled it all here as far as I could reach well now I couldn't exactly get down there so I uh, cleared this big pile of crap here most of it's over there there's some of it there and uh, was able to get right in here 
there's some sticks and stuff here that the guys had piled up from the traps and stuff from constantly, you know, um, trying to clear a spot for their traps. So there was a heap of stuff here. So I, you know, got rid of all that and over there. And uh, mostly I sat about right here with the edge of the blade right on the edge. And I can't quite get to the far side, but you can see sort of there. I was able to get down and rip some out. So it's definitely opened her up a little bit. Now this morning, there's another channel there and this was all dammed up here and it was all down there, you know? So it actually kind of almost made its own new river and uh, it's really come down a lot now. So she looks a little better and flowing a little cleaner. It looks like I got to get a bit more out of here yet, but I think that'll help. Now we'll see if the little turtle fix it again honest he might he might might not i don't know hard to say but she's definitely flowing better than better than it was so now we're just coming up to his feed bed and uh it's definitely a lot lower than it was man i i don't know if he was our trapper guy if he was trying to get him if he's still here this beaver but i kind of think he's not he had traps set all the way across. Wow, that was a big fish that just swam up there. I don't think the camera got her. I don't know what the heck that was. Good seven, eight inches long. Anyways, that's interesting that he come up through there. It wasn't a beaver, I know that. Beaver's a lot bigger than that. <laughs> but anyways, he had traps. You can see one stake there still. He had traps set all the way across the river and he never got them. So I kind of don't think he's here now, but this is definitely drained out a lot more. And yeah, that's his feed bed. So they drag all this crap down here. Winter time, they get hungry or whatever. They'll swim out from underneath their thing. Come and, you know, feed on a stick from underneath. Put that aside and that's when they can stick in something later, you know. So she's definitely lower than it was. You can see over there, that was where the water was. And it's dropped a good couple of feet now. So that's awesome. Now we still got the one up by the house to do, so... That is the one I'm going to videotape for you guys. Now, this is actually like rivery here now, not just pond. Wow, it's really dropped. So let's see if we can get a, a view up over here. Yeah, sorry for the iPhone video today, but that's uh, kind of all I, all I got with me. So, um, yeah, she's actually rivering a little bit here now. So I don't know if I can get, any, get up here to show you. But we'll try our best. And there you can see the other dam. Over there, so that's the one I want to clear out for the next little, little while here. And yeah, it's good to see her back to where she should be. A little more better. This would actually be a neat little spot to clear out for even for the kids to come down and play when it's, you know, nice-ish out, not freezing cold. Because there's actually two rivers. There's this one over here, and then there's this one here at the dam. They kind of join here and then go down into the reservoir so yeah there we go well a little update for you i think i'm gonna head her home soon uh i just don't feel like doing it anymore right now it's not good to keep yourself working you know when you really don't feel like doing it so i'm gonna i'm gonna head her home so anyways got rid of all this bench it was pretty rotten <laughs> and this freaking thing hanging by two threads there it's gone i left this for now and uh, it's not the greatest. There's not much really holding it. It's pretty scary. I understand, and I am probably going to get rid of it. But I got everything all cleared out. All my plumbing stuff, all in boxes there. Buy another home for that. But uh, I got to get rid of some of this junk in here yet. And then uh, I think the rest of it can just frick right off. I still got a little bit of stuff here to find homes for, but a couple of filters and stuff. But. Oh, boys, oh boys, oh boys. Look at this. Freaking just piled. Yes, I got rid of one of my old shirts. It is due. <laughs> so, those brown shirts, I don't know. I got enough of them for like, oh, I think I got about 12 of them or something like that. They're freaking awesome. I love them. But, anyways, mostly to keep the sun off me, right? And the dirt, too. But, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this shelf. Oops. Leave this shelf up here because it's screwed into the, the dewy or nail or whatever. It's pretty solid there, so 
that's not too bad but I am gonna need some kind of something as in a cabinet drawer open thingy maybe a nicey kind of one to put in here um, and then maybe another kind of a workbench or something I don't know I might put that cabinet here and then the workbench over there I don't know yet I don't know yet so still got lots to do I gotta find another place for my manuals these are all my manuals for everything here Oh, I'm gonna go through them with a fine tooth comb, rigid vacuum. Yeah, I still got that, so I better keep that. You know, blah blah blah. I'll get through all that, and we'll go from there. So I got some whiskey. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Actually, whiskey is pretty good if you put it in on your roast beef when you're cooking it in the oven. It's actually not bad, but we don't generally use it for that either. So, but anyways, that's the start. This end of this bench here was actually cemented into the ground. I had to cut it off at ground level, and then that one was just kind of stabbed in there. So I don't know what that was. But this, this end was solid, but the rest was just no. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. Just a little update for you. I might end up getting rid of all the rest of this too. And like I say, look for a nice cabinet or something. I don't exactly know where to buy something nice like that. Snap-on, yeah, but I don't want a freaking $2,700 freaking cabinet. Holy freaking crap. But <laughs> anyways, I'll have to do some searching and looking see what I can come up with but uh, I definitely think the rest of this is gonna just a freaking pier I uh, had to chop some lines here because they went through the, the dewey here we know I haven't pulled this out yet and that just ran a light here and then this light and then these plugs and it ran a, a line across the beam here and over to the panel over there and then I've pulled the physically pulled the wire out of the breaker so there's no connection now there so that's good um, it might eventually get connected back up again for that light or something, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. See what we can get for cabinet-y stuff and uh, go from there. But anyway, so that is it for today. Like I say, i got to do some more weeding through here. i got all the shelf and everything all cut up in little pieces and stuff and put in the bucket. i got to burn that up or something and, uh, and then try to squash this maybe down a little bit. I'm getting rid of this microwave. I did keep all the old cans and stuff, but other than that... I don't need all this junk. Actually, there's a really neat old trailer hitch ball. That's cool, eh? It's actually the top of the frickin' ball is the top of the frickin' screw. But really, I don't need her. I got balls like you wouldn't believe. Already, I don't need any more balls. And I got uh, all kinds of trailer hitch balls. Come on now, keep her clean. But anyways, that's it. We'll catch you later. I'll do some more updating for you in the next little while. And uh, we'll go from there. But I'm kind of thinking that maybe my engines might sit pretty freaking nice in there. A little more easier to get out and maybe run or something, you know. But I'm telling you, that opened up a lot of room. That's opened up at least three feet that I didn't have before. So I kind of like that. <laughs> I could almost park a Mini X right there, too. That's about that wide. But I don't know, I'm going to probably leave it where it is, but definitely think the rest of this needs to come out because it's just not very safe. So, but anyways, thanks again for watching and we shall catch you when we can catch you. Oh, geez, I was just cleaning up here. I never actually noticed it, but Brian put a tag on this GoPro stuff here. It says, call this a small thanks for all those videos. That I know you spend way too much time putting together. Brian Key. Thanks, buddy. That is freaking cool. I never noticed that. But I did. I did. I found her. So thanks very much, Brian, for sending that out. That is awesome. But anyways, we'll catch you catch later. I'm organizing a little more here. I just moved my manuals. Um, Changed things around here a little bit. I put my manuals in here. Look at that. So it's pretty much cleaned up one shelf here anyway so we got uh, pretty much a clear shelf and there we go lots of junk holy friggin crap eh it's nice to finally get rid of it but oh, I still got more <laughs> I still got more oh my goodness but anyways some of this might have to go in on my nice clean bench and my other workshop there for um, a little while until I can get this kind of sorted back out and put stuff back out here again, uh, depending on what I'm going to do. <coughs> I'm not really sure yet, but uh, even some of these filters here, these are all my air filters and stuff, I think I got a little bit of an extra stock, eh? Well, I'll tell you, it's nice to have it when you need it. Some of these are hydraulics too, though, hydraulic filters. Um, they might, well, I don't know. 
They might go up here. Oh, look at that. That might work pretty good. Get a few up there anyways. Oh. I'll have to get a ladder or whatever, but anyways, so there we go. But anyways, I'm gonna head her out. Thanks again, guys. Look, I put my mower here. Sort of nice out of the way. And there we go. But anyways, I'm gonna get rid of some wood here and then um, see if I can squash this stuff a little bit.